All right, guys, um, this is going to show you how to do spot channel. And what we do is we already have our image ready to go. So we're going to just open it here. And let's see, I put it on my desktop. Where is it? Right here. And we're going to load the image in here. So this was, uh, and we're going to try to print only white behind the graphic. I don't want white to print here, and I want white to print perfect here. We take this little tool right here. And it's the quick selection tool. It might show one of these other three tools, the magic wands, object selection tool, or whatever. But it's the quick selection tool seems to be my favorite tool. There are other things you can do, but this one seems to be the best. And what we do is you can see this here, and we're going to actually do our best by left clicking and holding the left click. And you'll start seeing it start to select. You just kind of just push this around until that little fuzzy line is around your entire image here. I don't like that right there. I wish. Let me select. There we go. So you don't want to go out too far. Everywhere it's inside the boundaries of this little line that's being moved. Okay. So the inside of the P, you see this? It's not going to print the inside of P. I want it to print Y here in the inside of the P. So I'm actually going to select it like this. See? And that went away. So we just look over this. And you see this line's moving around. That's everything that's selected. Everything inside of this is now selected. That's all that this is, is selected. So this is the magic right here. So we come over here to the right, see these lines? We can click on this. We want to create not a new channel, but a new spot channel. And they like to prefer to make it uh, the, the color red. It doesn't matter what color it is. And you click white, just name it white here. It doesn't matter what you name this. You can name this farts. It doesn't matter because the uh, software is going to see this as your first spot channel and your first spot channel is always white. And we'll click OK. So now you can deselect it and deselect it, and everything that it sees red, it'll print white. If we wanted to do that again, we just simply come in here and select again, like this, like we had it. Everything inside of this will print the new spot channel. If we want varnish, we just create another spot channel, and this is now your second spot channel, and you name it, you know, like I said, you can name it whatever you want. We can name it fart. It doesn't matter. And everywhere that's red, or we can change this to another color so it's less confusing, is going to print varnish since it's your second channel. Now I'm printing with a printer that doesn't have varnish, but that's how you uh, were to get your varnish channel set up. So I just have my white channel. I need to deselect. Ah. Okay, so we have my white channel. We'll leave this turned on. And what we got to do is we'll go to File, Save As, and we save this as a TIFF file, the T-I-F-F -F file. We click OK, and then we leave my settings like this, right? And we click OK, and then now you have an image with a spot channel. So now we're going to print this right here on, a, on another video, but I'll go ahead and show you how to set this up so it'll print the spot channel and print EXP. So we go to RIP. There it is with ALS. So we'll bring in the import. Whoopsie daisy. We wanted to bring, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll go into here and we'll bring in the ripped image, which I don't even remember where I saved it at. File. Okay, so we have the file here. We'll go import, and then I named it, whatever you named it right here. And you can see you can, it looks wrong. This is it right here, but it looks wrong. But that's fine. That's what we want. And this has the spot channel in it built into it. And we'll go to channel. And right now, this is set image base, same density. What this does is the computer will do its best to print white where it wants to print, not where you told it to print. We want it to print in the spot channel. So we'll actually change this to spot. So this will only print under the spot channel for white. We'll click OK. And now this bad boy is ready to print, and it's going to print. Sorry. The white is on spot. I have it set to 100%. I want you to know that I'm printing on the ZZ1S this time, which is a single print head. So we're only printing under two channels instead of six. If you have a printer that's printing with six channels or has an independent white print, 100 is probably too much. You're gonna probably wanna be, you know, at between zero and 55. But 100 seems to work pretty good for the uh, single print head whites. Okay, file print, print and go. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you learned something today on uh, how to do your spot channel with uh, Photoshop. If you did, uh, shoot me a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.